dropped my camera in the restroom when I was trying to get footage. I was, this is what I get. I was trying to get footage for both TikTok and YouTube and it ended up falling and it was like this, like she got folded and now it doesn't close. You see that? Or I guess we're making a trip to Best Buy today. I really don't know. Um, this is all it says. Turn power off and then turn it back on. This is so funny because I was just talking about today how I wanted to sell this camera to try to get the DJI. Okay, it is clearly a little while later, but I'm currently about to go run. I actually got the Lululemon t-shirt um, for my birthday, which I'm so excited. By the way, my birthday vlog is still not up yet and it's Monday. Yeah, I'm actually going to go to the park and go run. And then after that, mind you, I'm vlogging on my phone. Um, I have to go take my camera to Best Buy, which my boyfriend just finished texting me. He's like, I hope that they just give you like the money and a, and a gift card because there's some, this little thing that you can do with Best Buy where you can trade in a product and get the gift card for it. Hopefully they kind of just give me the money for a gift card. Like girl, it ain't your, it's not your money. Like give me the fuck. I don't know. Let me calm down. guys this is the most chaotic vlog i've ever had to film i forgot to tell you guys uh my car doesn't have fucking ac are you joking <laughs> what's the temperature again 90 something degrees i swear to god i i'm literally hello Okay, so I just left Best Buy. Fingers crossed they don't have the parts to replace my camera um, because I want the DJI. So um, basically how it works is if they don't have the parts to replace your camera or it's just gonna like, I guess like if it takes too long, they just give you store credit, which I really want because the Sony ZV-1 cost me like 700 and something like 700 and something dollars and the dji camera is only 669 dollars for the creator kit so hopefully i can get that camera i don't know maybe it's like a blessing in disguise that my camera like randomly broke like i swear to god it just fell and honestly my camera's fallen before where i didn't think that it was going to be that big of a deal but anyways i'm gonna hurry up and go home because i don't have ac and i'm sweating and i'm tired and I add either sugar-free or everything sugar-free either cho white chocolate uh, vanilla and caramel and I do light ice I do extra chai and I either switch it up it's not that hard it just looks complicated on the screen it's a sweet tea cut with green tea with sugar-free red raz extra sweet and too sweet cream mm -hmm. it's good it doesn't taste like a my complicated drinks are good yeah they are we're going to Target surprisingly I'm not getting anything I might get an iPad yeah, she's shopping for an iPad. If anyone um, has a lot of money and just wants to like give it to me, mm -hmm. let me know. It's both of us. <laughs> so we're at Best Buy again to look at the iPads. Every time you say you want something, you never buy it. I know, but like one of the girls, like someone made a point. They're like, are you going to have any food? And I was like, who needs me? You know? Okay, skinny. Yeah. Okay, go send me a Thank you. I want to see the new iPhone. So when I looked it up online, if I trade in my phone, I'll pay $200 for the base model. 
But then I think I'm losing features and I'm downgrading. And I really want a pink phone. I think a pink phone would be so cute. Oh, oh here it, it is. is cute. This is the pink one. I wish I could take it off. We live in the ghetto. Guys, tell me what it looks like. <laughs> okay, here's the button. Wait, it's not even doing anything. Oh, I have to be on the camera. This cat is serving face. Like, she knows. Is it a boy or a girl? We don't know. A they? A them. <laughs> does anyone have, in their own words, sort of, what does a value proposition mean? Good morning, you guys. I just finished doing my makeup. I currently am going through like my makeup to switch from like summery pink makeup to more brownie. So I forgot I had this Sephora. I think it's a lip balm. I really don't know what it is, but it's in the shade. I think it's in the shade Yum Yum. I don't know. It has cookies on it. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I actually wanted to show you guys my mom hung my shelves finally, and I'm going to take you guys through my perfume section. Thank you to my boyfriend and my mom because I literally had no perfumes before this. I also forgot to mention, I am going back to using this e.l.f. bronzer. I've been using the Fenty cream stick and I gotta say, that's like the worst bronzer I've ever tried. And I just really wanted it because I think at one point it went viral. That one went viral and it was out of stock for a while and I finally got my hands on it. This is the most dry formula. I put it on my face and it kind of stays with like a line. And I think that this e.l.f. putty bronzer is way better than the Fenty one. Here she is. This is the K. Alley Vanilla 28 perfume. This, this is going to be very niche and very specific. But I fell in love with it because when me and my boyfriend first started talking, I was wearing the salted caramel apricot fall lotion from Bath & Body Works. This smells like that, but with a hint more sweetness. I, you, you know, I don't have a perfume nose, okay? But it smells sweet. I don't know what you want me to say. I'll put the nose here on the screen. But I love this. This was another one of my perfumes that was love at first smell, where I really don't get that. Like, some perfumes I need to smell multiple times. The next perfume that I recently got, I actually got it for my birthday. It is the Black Opium Yves Saint Laurent in the shade Over Cherry or something like that. But it's a cherry scent. Like every other person on the planet, I wanted a cherry perfume for fall this smells like the regular black opium that i have but with a hint of cherry so it's literally they're almost the same so i feel like if you have this one you can buy like another cherry scented perfume to layer it i don't know i'm not that far into fragrances and honestly fragrances is like a like a very expensive hobby i think yeah i really like both of these this one is really sweet this is the Black Opium Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know. Like I said, I'll put the names on the screen. Yeah, I got compliments on this perfume from both my aunt and my mom. So I feel like it's kind of a all age kind of scent. I'm not going to be one of those people that be like, oh, like, I don't like youthful scents. Like, bitch, I have the rest of my life to smell fucking old. Like, I don't care about that. Um, I like sweet smells. I like youthful scents. Like, I don't know why that's such a big thing in the fragrance community. This one is my all-time favorite perfume. It is the Burberry Her Elixir. But this one smells like strawberries straight up. It's a very sweet strawberry scented perfume and it's my all-time favorite perfume. My first ever love it for smell where I sprayed it, I was thinking to myself, it's like, I have to have this. I also got a compliment on this perfume from my advisor, like at school. She was like, you're wearing a perfume, what is it? And I was like, it's her. It's her. She is her. This is probably my third favorite perfume. This is the Carolina Good Girl Supreme Perfume. This stuff smells so good. Out of all of them, as of right now, because in Texas, it's not super hot. I mean, what? I mean, it's not super cold, so I can't wear some of the scents that I have because they're fall scents, and it's literally 90 degrees. Anyways, so I wear this one for my birthday. I really like it. It smells super, super good. I don't like the regular version of this. Ew. So this is the Valentino Born in Roma Coral. I was really in love with this one at one point, but I think I wore it so much that she needs a break. We're, we need a break from each other. We're not getting along. It's a very citrus brush smell, if that makes any sense. I really like it. I think it's perfect for summer. It is a summer scent, I think. So the next two perfumes that I have, I got for my birthday once again. So this one was from my boyfriend, and this is the Mason Margiela Jazz Club perfume. I'm wearing this right now. <laughs> 
cocktails and cigars that what it says it's like a very leathery to me it smells at least leathery smoky sweet perfume i really like this this is perfect like i don't know if i was somewhere in freaking sweden i'm wearing this perfume i'm wearing a cheetah puff jacket it's cold i like it this is the vibe that i get from this perfume i think this one is just called blush i'm not too sure but this one is another very spring scent very floral peonies i really like this one especially because like i said i live somewhere hot and i'm gonna get away with wearing this one again 90 percent of the year so i have a couple more perfumes here that i'm just gonna fire through this is the ariana grande god is a woman i really like this one when i smelled it in the paper and then i got it in person and I don't really like it that much. It's just a very weird smell. I don't understand this one. And I do like Ariana Grande perfumes. I love Thank You Next. I know some people hate that perfume because it smells like pickle. This one I got for Christmas last year, I think. And as you can tell, it's not that far gone. But this is the perfect for Marc Jacobs. I got this one for my mom and it's a very nice smell. I only wear it when I go to the gym because it's such a fresh, like out of the shower, sweet smell. Um, I don't know. She's not she's not all that this one i was in love with at one point it's the mark jacobs daisy perfume i love the mark jacobs love now that i smell it i don't know it kind of reminds me of, like i'm going to church and i would wear this perfume does that make sense another one that i used to love valley rose from philosophy i don't know i think i wore it so much that i'm just kind of tired of it and honestly the biggest fan of like floral smells and this is very rosy smelling this one i also used to love which is the glossier you perfume and now it kind of just smells powdery and that's fine like that's the vibe this to me i don't know so i ended up changing i don't like this hairstyle by the way i kind of just made it up and i think it's because i need like a stronger hold gel like my hair just it's like a blob i don't know how to explain it also this is my natural hair color all this down here i'm gonna change my bra and then i'm going but this is a shirt from all in motion and it's actually a dry fit t-shirt i really like this i got it on sale at target and then these are my airy leggings and then i'm wearing my hokas i'm going to the library because i haven't been able to like concentrate and do any homework like i did not get anything done yesterday Happy. I actually got two assignments done. I had one assignment to write a company whose positioning is off, which I wrote about Glossier because Glossier is like a failing company, I think, or they're not failing, but they're trying hard to like rebrand. The other assignment I did was for my visual media class. And that one I had to come up with five taglines for our company that we have. So our company for my group is actually going to be a brewery which was actually my idea but i feel bad because like they're younger than me so they don't really go to brewery so happy i got my assignments done this is your sign if you are struggling to get homework done at your house go to either your school or a library that way you're surrounded by other people that are like also being productive and like everyone was there in the library today i was so surprised my usual spot the little cubby spaces it was taken and i felt so embarrassed i walked in Kindle. This took me legit forever because I had to cut out every little single sticker you see on this. I originally did it two ways where I printed the, the stickers individually and then I did it another way where I kind of copied a template from Pinterest and I did not get the measurements right so it actually ended up printing too big. But I like this. I ended up printing just like a background and cutting it to fit the Kindle and then all of these are just stickers that you can find on Pinterest. I will let you guys know if they end up just kind of like fixing my camera or if they give me a gift card and I get to get a new camera. I hope I do, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Also, yeah, I know. What did I say in my last video? I said I was going to make an effort and here I am.